Alright hey guys and welcome back to another Sonic memorabilia review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a pretty interesting and quite unique Sonic the Hedgehog item and the reason I say unique is because I don't think there's been anything released that is even remotely similar to this for a Sonic the Hedgehog item and that is the Sonic the Hedgehog Badge and Magnet Super Molding set. Now this set was released in the mid 90s in the United Kingdom and was manufactured by Wannington's. You might just be able to see the manufacturer name there at the top of the box. Now Wannington's released uh, quite a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog merchandise during this time. You could get things like jigsaws, there was also um, a 3D action board which I do actually have in my collection and I would like to um, review one day. And you could usually find these sort of this merchandise along with um, like the figures and toys in the shops usually next to some of the Tomy stuff which is uh, a Tomy item which I have here which is the Sonic the Hedgehog uh, Tomy water game as you can see there I did actually review this a couple of years ago basically you fill this up with water and you press the button to get the rings on these little links here this is actually my original set that I've had over 20 years but I never actually saw this set for sale uh, growing up now the place to go to get Sonic the Hedgehog toys and figures uh, during this time was usually Woolworths which is uh, a chain of shops which doesn't actually exist anymore at least in the high street um, they are still online I believe or at least last time I checked but yeah during the early to mid 90s and even some of the late 90s if you was after anything Sonic the Hedgehog related Woolworths was definitely the place to go but yeah I never actually saw these for sale in any of the shops so when I come across this online I was very much intrigued and interested by this because I'd never seen it before and um, it was such a unique item for a Sonic the Hedgehog thing I mean you're a mold insert. I mean, who would have uh, thought you'd see a Sonic the Hedgehog mold insert? But yeah, this is the box, and it shows you some of the contents that you get inside here. You've got like the spatula, the paints. I'm not exactly sure what the technical term for these things are. It's like the molding trays, so you can actually mold the, um, the designs. And these are what your finished products will look like, or at least I say what they will look like. It all depends on uh, how good of a sort of painter you are, I guess. But um, yeah, an interesting thing I have noticed here, the person who painted the Robotnik here, you can see that there's actually a colour flaw because the painter's actually given Robotnik uh, black trousers when in actual his trousers are grey. A good example is you can see the top left illustration there of Robotnik. So uh, that's pretty interesting. But um, yeah, the box is pretty cool. It looks very similar to sort of some of the Tomy, 90s Tomy. Um, merchandise that you would have seen in the shops around then. Uh, you may be familiar with the Tomy manufacturer name and that is because uh, if you've bought any Sonic Boom merchandise over the past couple of years and some of the newer release 25th anniversary Sonic the Hedgehog merchandise that is also manufactured by Tomy. Anyway back with this set I'm going to show you the back of the box which is upside down. I'll turn it the right way up and you can have a better look at some of the contents inside and here is what you will have inside so if you was buying this new you would obviously have checked this uh, when picking it up to make sure it's in there um, I don't actually see any sellotape sealing of the box uh, whatsoever so this was back when a time when there wasn't things like security tags or things were covered in sellotape so that's in a way that's really good because there is no signs of any uh, damage to the box whatsoever in fact it is nigh on in mint condition and that's really good because I did pick this up second hand but um, yeah so that is the box itself and a bit of info on the item let's get this thing open to show you uh, what you get inside okay so here we go I've laid the box down because the contents inside are quite loose and if I was to open this with the box standing up that would all simply fall out Okay, so starting with this at the top, we have some safety instructions. And this is your actual instructions for the molding part itself. Uh, let's give you a look. Uh, something I should have said already that is on the box is there. It says 8 plus, so it is quite a older item for the person to be to actually do the mold in itself and it even says here for being ages 8 and plus you do need adult supervision because you've got to think you are actually doing the mold in itself and you do actually have to mix it with water to mold the characters in the tray so that's pretty interesting and here is what you have to do to put the mold in solution to get it ready to go 
And of course I've already said that this set is called a Badge or Magnet set. You do have the option to choose whether you want to turn this, uh, the item that you create into a badge or a magnet. And it gives you a description there. And there's a little bit at the back. Okay, let's look at what we have here. Now, as I've already said, I picked this up second hand and the person I bought this off has actually already created some of the uh, designs already. So it's actually pretty cool because I can actually show you what some of these look like. So, the person who previously had this has moulded three of these together and as you can see, he's turned these into badges, which is these, you mould this little red plastic bit onto the moulding solution while it's already wet. see these are some of the designs that you can make. So we've got Sonic Run in there, a very uh, classic Sonic post there with the uh, hand and peace sign, towels and you've also got some bad things here. And this one has a full set of trays of um, that have been moulded together. So you've got Robotnik there, some bad nicks. It's a really cool Sonic one, and towels, and another bad thing. So that's really cool. And uh, to get these out once they've dried, I put the camera down to do this. The instructions basically tell you to bend the plastic until it pops out. And I'm going to try this as carefully as I can. There we go. We have one. Try to get the Robotnik one out. There we go. So here is what they look like. Of course, these aren't obviously aren't not painted yet. And you can see, so it's, it's really cool. And these ones have been turned into magnets. You can see there. So you, if you was making this like when you was a kid, you might have well stuck these onto uh, the door of your fridge. And here is a look at the towels one. The towels one looks a lot easier to paint. The Robotnik and Sonic one probably looks the most com complicated. Uh, maybe the Badnik as well, but yeah, if you wanted an easier time, I'd recommend this Towers one. Okay, so let's have a little look at some of the other stuff in here. Here is obviously the pot to put your moulding solution in. Here is the moulding mix itself. Uh, I have one bag here that has uh, been opened and used by the previous owner. And I have one bag here that is completely unopened and brand new. Uh, so this is what you would pour into the pot and then add water to make it into the moulding solution. Uh, it basically feels like powdery, sort of like the flour you would buy in um, your supermarket. That's essentially what it feels like. And underneath that is the paints themselves. Now as you can see, looking at them, they have dried up quite a lot because uh, obviously you think this set is well over 20 years old so some of this paint has um, deteriorated somewhat but um, there is still some inside there you've got two sets of paint here each one with a different colour as you can see and we have I'm not sure what this is this might have been like the uh, number item that you would have picked if you was buying this up from a shop maybe. I'm not entirely sure. And Okay, so this is like the set you would, I would imagine you would put the plastic tray on. Does it fit on there? Yeah, so I'd imagine if you was fitting it in there you would leave it on there to dry. Here is your the paintbrush. So just put a robotic there. You would obviously um, get the paint. You'd obviously wet the paint and the brush. You would uh, release to get. Obviously, I've not got them open, and then you'd uh, paint the robotic. You can see, there's sort of a little bit of a demonstration there, so you get an idea. Here is the scoop that you would uh, scoop out of the molding. A cup once the solution has been made and you would pour it into the plastic tray. Here is your stirring stick. You would mix it if it was there. 
and also in here you have the pieces of the magnet that you can see there is dividers in there that you would stick onto the molding solution once it's still wet so decide whether you want to turn it into a magnet and I imagine the bad ones are underneath yes so here we go these are the some of them have been used already whether you wanted to turn it into a badge so that's pretty cool Okay, so yeah, as I've already said, it's definitely a unique Sonic the Hedgehog item because you don't really see things like this today, especially from the Sonic the Hedgehog line. But um, I always find enjoyment out of uh, looking at the more interesting lines uh, from the olden days. Uh, I mean, one of my favourite things from my entire collection is the Sonic the Hedgehog aftershave bottle I've got, which I bought from Spain around 25 years ago. Um, I did review that as well, actually, a couple of years ago, if you wanted to check that out. It's... Um, it's definitely one of the more unique and is quite a rare item out there as well. In terms of rarity for this item, I mean, it's quite hard to come by in such good condition, but I would by no means say it is very valuable. I mean, sometimes people confuse the difference between rare and valuable. Just because an item is rare does not mean it's essentially worth a lot of money. I mean, I picked this up for not really that much money, really, for what it's set. I can't imagine it would have been much more money I paid for it compared to the uh, original price when it was for sale. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to show you how to actually do the moulding set itself because you pretty much get the good idea of it, and now I can see that being extremely messy. If I move the box a little bit closer, you can have a, a better look of what the finished designs would be like again if you did this yourself. Uh, it's a pretty cool idea for a present for a kid back then. If I was bought this for like Christmas or a birthday when I was, well it says 8 plus from around that age, I would have definitely loved this and I would have uh, had a lot of fun uh, doing the painting for this and I can assure you if this was my set from then, if I had it, it would no way be in this good condition today. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, interesting Sonic memorabilia review. This will probably be my final one uh, until after Christmas or maybe the New Year. Incredibly busy up until then. But uh, thank you very much guys for watching this video all the way to the end. If you like this video, please do uh, give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And also subscribe if you're a new subscriber. That also, uh, I really do appreciate that. But um, yeah, if this is my final video, then I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and see you in the new year. Thank you very much for watching guys.